This is the Maserati Grecale. It's an all-new SUV with a twin-turbo V6 that will take on the Porsche Macan and the BMW X4 M competition. But there's also a new fully electric model that could be even quicker than a Tesla Model Y performance. And that's not all. Maserati is cooking up a brand new electric sports car that will have even more power than the Tesla Model S Plaid. And in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about these cars. Buy. Sell. Car. Wow. Let's start with the Maserati Grecale. It's a brand new SUV that's smaller than the current Levante, but it shares plenty of bits with the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. But you probably wouldn't guess it by looking at it. It's obviously been inspired by the Levante, especially the massive front grille. It definitely looks purposeful, but it also reminds me of a large fish. There aren't any extra fog lights like you get on the Levante though, which helps the Grecale look much neater at the front. I'm not sure about the headlights. They look too similar to the ones on a Ford Puma. There's nothing Ford-like about the Grecale when you look at it from the side though. You get 19-inch alloy wheels as standard, but you can get 21-inch wheels on high specification cars. All Grecales have the same three vents behind the front wheel, like you get on the Levante. And the window frames and sloping roof line look similar to what you get on that car too. Speaking of which, Maserati has stuck a chrome Trident badge just behind the Back door, like it does on all its new cars. There's more chrome at the back, including a big Maserati badge and a strip between the two brake lights. Maserati says these were inspired by the boomerang tail lights on the classic 3200 GT. But I don't see it personally. I reckon they look more like they came off a Jaguar F-Pace. What do you think of the new Grecale's looks? Do you prefer it than an Alfa Romeo Stelvio, or would you much rather have something like a Porsche Macan or a BMW X4? Let me know by voting in our pinned comment below this video. Before I tell you about Maserati's new Tesla rivals, I want to talk about petrol power first. Maserati isn't ready to give up on the old internal combustion engine just yet. Oh no, the new Grecale comes with a choice of three petrol engines. The range kicks off with a couple of two-litre four-cylinder mild hybrids with 300 and 330 horsepower. That means a mid-specification Grecale has about 50 horsepower more than you get from a mid-range Alfa Romeo Stelvio Veloce. But it has 30 horsepower less than a BMW X4 M40i and 50 horsepower less than a Porsche Macan S. BMW and Porsche shouldn't rest on their laurels though because there's also a much more powerful Grecale coming soon. Now I'll tell you more about that in a bit. The big old Maserati Levante is starting to look its age inside now, mainly because it has a small touchscreen and loads of tiny buttons. But I think Maserati has gone too far in the opposite direction with this new Grecale. It has barely any physical controls anywhere in the cabin. Instead, you get two massive touchscreens on the centre console. There's another screen instead of the analogue dials behind the steering wheel, and even Maserati's signature dashboard clock has gone digital. You do get some lovely gear shift paddles though, and overall, the layout looks pretty classy. I like the metal strips that run all the way across the dash and through the air vents. There's loads of leather trim on the doors as well, and the seats in Trofeo models look super supportive. Although, I don't think I'll go for this yellow stitching. That's a little bit kind of flashy. Oh, actually, I would. I like that kind of thing. When BMW makes a hot SUV, it slaps an M badge on it. When Alfa makes one, it calls it a Quadrofolio. Maserati, on the other hand, uses the word Trofeo or Trofeo, if you come from Birmingham. Anyhow, at the moment, you can get Trofeo versions of the Ghibli, the Quattroporte, and the Levante, and they all stick to the same basic recipe. You start with a standard car, but instead of fitting a basic engine, you bolt in a 3.8-litre twin-turbo V8 that's borrowed from Ferrari. This means all these Maserati Trofeo cars make the same 580 horsepower and 730 newton meters of torque, and they sound amazing. Just have a listen to this. Now, Maserati has also confirmed it's making a Grecale Trofeo. Great news, that. But there is a problem. And like the Trofeos you can buy today, the new Grecale Trofeo won't have a twin-turbo V8. Instead, you'll have to make do with just a 3-litre twin-turbo V6. On the upside, it's based on a 630 horsepower twin turbo V6 you get in the MC20 sports car. It has been detuned a bit for the Grecale, but it still makes 530 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque. That's 90 horsepower more than a Macan GTS and 20 horsepower more than you get in a BMW X4 M competition. This will mean it's going to be properly quick, and I'll tell you exactly how quick in a moment. Every new Maserati Grecale with a petrol engine comes with four-wheel drive and an eight-speed automatic gearbox as standard. You also get a limited slip differential on the rear axle on all models besides the entry-level GT, where it's actually an optional extra. 
Speaking of optional upgrades, you can also pay extra on some models to get adaptive dampers and air suspension. This system can raise the car up by 30 millimeters in off-road mode, and it can lower it by 35 millimeters when you park to make it easier to get in and out. This all comes as standard on Trofeo versions though, as do the meaty brakes with six piston calipers at the front and four piston calipers at the rear. Entry-level Maserati Gricale GTs with 300 horsepower do 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. Step up to a moderner version with 330 horsepower and you'll get 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. The quickest Trofeo cars with 530 horsepower manage 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 3.8 seconds, although I reckon they'll be a bit quicker than that in reality. For example, Maserati claims the Levante Trofeo does 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, but I timed that car and well, actually, I'll show you exactly what I did with it. Release the brake. Whoa, the Italians lied. Not 60, 3.8 seconds. Bearing in mind that I timed that car in the wet, I actually reckon that the Gricale Trofeo might actually manage to do 0 to 60 miles an hour in more like 3.5 seconds rather than 3.8 that Maserati is stating for it. But I'll find out for sure when I review it myself because I will definitely launch the car. You'll also be able to get the new Maserati Gricale as a fully electric SUV called the Gricale Fogore. Fogore means lightning in Italian. Maserati hasn't confirmed this new EV's range yet, but it has said it will get a 105 kilowatt hour battery, which is pretty large. In fact, it's the same size as the battery you get in a BMW iX50. Now that car has between 360 and 380 miles of range. So it's a safe bet that the new Gricale Fogore, not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Fulgore should manage at least 350 miles on a full charge. That's about 30 miles more range than you get from a Tesla Model Y Performance. There's a strong chance that the Gricale Fogore will be quicker than that car too. Maserati hasn't confirmed any power or acceleration figures yet, but it did say the new car will have 800 newton meters of torque. That's over 100 newton meters more than you get in a Model Y Performance. And that car does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds. So this new Fogore model might be able to do 0 to 60 in closer to three seconds dead. The Gricale Fogore Gore isn't the only fast car Maserati is working on. It's just confirmed that it'll make an all new sports car before 2025. Now this won't get a V8 engine like the old GT or a twin turbo V6 like the MC20. It'll actually be fully electric. It's gonna be called the Gran Turismo Fogore, like the Gricale Fogore. And anyway, here's what it looks like. Yeah. It's a proper two-door coupe. It's not a weird four-door like the Mercedes AMG EQS 53 or a boring saloon like the Tesla Model S Plaid. Though secretly, I really like the look of that car. Anyhow, this is undeniably a great looking fast EV. It won't just look cooler than the cars I've just mentioned, it could be quicker than them too. You see, it'll have three electric motors producing a combined 1,200 horsepower. Now that's almost 200 horsepower more than you get from a Tesla Model S Plaid. And that's one of the quickest accelerating cars I've ever driven in my life. In fact, here's me launching it on a really badly surfaced road. Plot! Frickin' frick! Now, before Maserati releases its electric cars, obviously, the normal Gricale will go on sale. And it'll go on sale in the second half of 2022 and probably cost from around 50 to 60,000 pounds. Trofeo versions will set you back more like 90 to 100,000 pounds. Now, you'll have to wait an extra year before you can get your hands on the Folgore electric version. And it'll be a similar wait if you fancy the fully electric Gran Turismo model. These won't arrive till at least 2023 or maybe even later. And when it does arrive, you can bet that that Gran Turismo model will cost around £250,000. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, what do you think about this car? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments below. We put a pinned comment so you can actually pass your opinion on it. Now, if you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows there. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to sell your car. You just upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.